Welcome back to What's for Dinner. And again, we have our favorite mom who has founded the Love Child Organics Baby Food, and she's here to teach us how to make baby food in our own kitchen. So what are we making today? So today we're gonna to make a roasted superfood baby puree. So Leah was telling us um, a story about how this recipe actually came to be, and we loved it so much we thought she should share. Share. Share away. Yeah, so I love this puree because um, I actually made it for my son before it was a Love Child product. You know, when I launched the company, he was eight months old, and I was really right in the middle of making all of this homemade baby food for him. And he loved this one so much that we turned it into a product a few months later. That's and your first product, right? Well, no, this was actually our second round. We did okay. six purees first, and then we came up with two more, and this was one of the two more. But it was a puree that I fed to my son, I taught all my friends how to make it, and he loved it so much that now he still eats beets. It's one of his favorite foods. Okay, let's get to the ingredients. Okay, so these are really simple ingredients. We just need one small yam that is being peeled and chopped. Mm -hmm. Two apples, again, peeled and chopped. Um, we've got a small beet, which I'm kind of realizing actually that's not probably not a small beet, is it? We'll probably, no. we'll probably use about a quarter of that. Okay. Okay, and these have been thinly sliced to make them easy to cook quickly. All right, and then we have a quarter cup of quinoa. Quinoa is amazing because it's a complete protein. Wait, okay. hold on. It means that's like, it replaces meat. Yeah, it's like beef, but not. Okay, and then we also have some cinnamon, and I've also just got some pre-boiled water here that we could use if the puree is too thick. We could just add that to thin it out a little bit. This one is my favorite one because there's only three steps. I can do that. So your first step is you're going to put your vegetables and your apples into the roasting tin. You're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon, put a cover on it, stick it in the oven for about 20 minutes, for about 20 minutes at 375, just until they're soft. Okay, I bet that smells great. Yes, it's delicious, like Thanksgiving. Yes. Okay. Okay ladies, so you're just going to put your apples, your beets, and your yams into a roasting tin. And here's a good mom tip. If you want to cook with your kids and get them involved, pre-measure, pre-cut. So uh, it's all ready to go, yeah, right? Absolutely, I totally agree with that. Sprinkle, sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Perfect. And wow. now we're just gonna we're just gonna cover that up and we're gonna stick it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 375. But really it's until it's soft. So you might have to go a little bit longer than that depending on how your oven. small you cut your, your fruits and vegetables. <laughs> then once that's done, we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna put those all into the blender with our cooked quinoa and our squeeze of orange juice. We're gonna blend that up. If it's too thick, we're just gonna pour in a little pre bowl of water and that'll be it. Guys, I would argue anyone could roast some veggies and fruit and throw it in a Vitamix or a blender. Let's see how this goes. I don't think you're gonna need to argue that. Okay. I don't think so either. I think the hardest part of this is chopping. Yep. So we're just putting here, you can smell it. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. It smells like something you would, you know, cook for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Yes. yes. And as she's combining that, we can also just go ahead and add the cooked quinoa, right? Yes. Cooked quinoa. Uh -huh. You could not mess this up. And a half an orange. Yep. And I know this trick about squeezing the orange is that you put the fork in there and it Whoa. makes all the juice come out. I've just got a little bit of water here because it's going to help it to just be um, a little smoother. Consistency is up to you. How much you think your baby likes or doesn't like. It puree. Step three is just eat it. And how easy was that? Creating Leah's um, son's favorite recipe. And it looks delicious. We can't wait to try it. It smells. Let's do this. Delicious. I can't wait to try this. And there you have it. Baby food made easy. Isn't that delicious? It's so, this was so good. It could be a substitute for an applesauce. Completely. Like for every day for your kids. Completely. And you, you know, you could use, of course you can save the leftovers for your baby. You can put in ice cube trays. But also imagine this in muffins. Oh, that would be so good. And smoothies. Mm -hmm. The recipe will be below along with all the links to Leah's website and where you can find some more delicious recipes. Thanks for joining us Thank today, guys. Thank you so guys. much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we had so much fun. Have a great day. Have a great day.